Hey guys, so today I wanted to chat with you about some fountain pens and a few of the differences and similarities and how you might actually go about refilling them from an ink bottle. I do get this question quite a lot in regards to what ink I use inside my fountain pens. I use platinum carbon ink and it's the only ink I've actually ever used because it just does the job. It's waterproof, it's permanent and it's very black. So the first fountain pen I want to talk about is this Sailor Fude fountain pen. It has this distinctive bent nib which is really cool because depending what angle you draw with it um, you can vary your line weight. So these are very popular amongst urban sketches and this pen's very inexpensive. You can find it on Amazon, I'll put the link below. And inside it, it has this converter. So you have to buy this separately. The pen can take normal ink cartridges, but I bought this converter and what it allows you to do is refill the empty part from an ink bottle. It's twist operated and it's got some kind of like suction piston thing inside of it and you can turn it one way and the piston will go towards the end of the converter where you would fill it up and you can twist it the other way and draw the ink back through the converter. So let's just have a look at this now. So here is my bottle of platinum carbon ink. Um, this is another thing you can get off of Amazon pretty easily, but there there are other places obviously that do sell it as well. Inside of the jar of platinum carbon ink, it took me a while to <laughs> understand what this was because I, you know, I'd never when I bought this, I'd never used fountain pens to sketch with. I'd never got an ink bottle before; it was all brand new to me, and this was a few years ago. So yeah, it's got this little plastic pot inside of it, and it's it's like a reservoir and it helps you to fill up your fountain pen without getting ink everywhere. So it's got some holes in the bottom that allows the ink to flow through and then you can just put your fountain pen in there without getting it crazy messy and refill it. The thing is, with and this took me a while to realise as well, that reservoir obviously gets empty once you fill your pen. So you actually kind of have to screw the lid back on the ink bottle, flip it over and let that reservoir fill back up again so that you can then dip your next pen in there and refill it again. So just make sure that lid is on the bottle tight. You do not want this ink to be going everywhere. It is permanent. So um, just be careful when you're doing that. So the other thing that I used to do, which I now don't do because I've realized it's much easier or maybe I watched a video, I can't even remember how I realized this, but I used to actually put the converter in and try and fill it up. But actually it's much easier to leave the converter inside the fountain pen and put the fountain pen nib inside the bottle and then screw the converter and draw up the ink in that way. So that is probably the correct way to do it. Uh, so leave the converter inside the pen, put the put the nib inside the bottle and then twist. There are different styles of converters, um, but all of mine are the kind of twist operated kind of piston ones. I haven't used any other style, but I am aware that there are different ones. So once I filled it up, I just wipe it on a bit of tissue, just get any excess ink off. And then I just try out the pen on a piece of paper, just make sure everything's okay. And that's pretty much it. So that's the Sailor Fude. This pen is a Tosabi Eco fountain pen, and it's my favorite fountain pen <laughs> at the moment. It's different because its entire body is the converter. Whereas these other pens, like the Lamy fountain pens I've got to the right hand side here, have separate converters inside them that are basically like replacement ink cartridges. They're just refillable ink cartridges, if you will. The Wasabi Eco, the entire body is a converter. So you can't, the downside is you can't put any ink cartridges inside this pen. Just the whole body is the converter. So that end white piece that you see, I mean, this pen comes in different colors. Mine happens to be white. That is the twisting part. So if you twist that, you can draw up the ink into the body. The great thing about the Tosabi is it holds an incredibly large amount of ink. You can see how big that body is. 
whereas the ones in the Sailor Fude and the Lamy pens I'm showing you here, they're quite small, so you do have to refill them more often. And the Sailor as well is quite juicy. It does dispel quite a lot of ink, especially if you're using it at an angle where it's producing its widest line. It does give out a lot of ink, so you do need to refill it quite often, obviously depending on how often you use the pen. So I'm not going to put any more ink in the Wasabi just because it's got quite a lot in there already and as I said it does hold a lot. But if you would like me to show you specifically how I how that pen works then do let me know but they're all basically the same. I will show you the Lamy's just for just to reinforce what I do here. So I'm putting the the converters inside the pen. This is the bronze colored one. This is Lamy All Star. And I'm just, I made sure that the piston was screwed all the way down so that then I put the pen in the bottle of ink and then screw the correct way so that piston draws the ink up into the converter, which by the looks of things in this way is clockwise that's drawing it up. However, you can see here, I've got this gap. There's no, it's only drawn up some ink and I still have this gap at the top of the converter. So now I'm thinking, hmm, what, why is that doing that? I think it's because there wasn't enough ink in that plastic reservoir inside the pot. So I'm turning the pot over and refilling that plastic reservoir inside. So you can see there's more ink in there now. So now I'm just going to empty the converter and then screw back up, back up again. And there we go, now it's full. So yeah, there just wasn't enough ink in that reservoir to fill the entire converter. That's all that was the problem. So again, I'm just wiping it off on a bit of kitchen towel. Just make sure there's no kind of stray ink all over the place. You guys might be able to see that my hat, my fingers are sort of starting to get covered in ink here. So it's a little bit messy. Either that or I'm just a little bit messy, but there's definitely ink on my fingers. So there we go, it's working straight away. When I used to fill my pens just by putting the converter in the bottle, it just used to take them a long time to work again. So I think by putting the converter inside the pen and then putting the pen nib and drawing the ink up through the pen nib, it primes it much better. So it just always works straight away. And it's something that used to really frustrate me as a beginner. Maybe it's something that has happened to you. And when I say a beginner, I mean a beginner to using fountain pens for sketching. So for any of you that may have done that and had the same issues as me, hopefully this is helpful. So I'm doing the same thing with the Lamy Safari and I filled this one up too. I'm just going to check it works. And there we go, it works straight away. So yeah, this is my fountain pen collection so far. Hopefully I'll get a few more in the in the future just to try out some different ones. So I've got the Lamy Safari over on the right. The Lamy All Star is the bronze one. The white one with ink all over it is the Dosabi Eco. I had a issue with uh, this pen and being on an aeroplane. I didn't realize it would basically kind of explode with the pressure. Not explode, but leak. And then I've got the Sailor Fude on the left, which is the longer green one, which is the one with the bent nib. Yeah, I hope this video has been useful, guys. Maybe it was interesting for you to see my fountain pen collection. I really do enjoy sketching with fountain pens. Um, just in terms of nib, the Sailor Fude comes with its nib, it's the bent nib. The Tosabi Eco, the Lamy All Star and the Lamy Safari all have extra fine nibs on them. That's just my preference. I like to sketch with extra fine nibs and I don't find them too fine. They're not scratchy or anything. They're just a really nice line to sketch with. So I hope that was interesting guys and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.